Hey, I'm Sean Callagy. Welcome to 2020 Vision of Creating Dreams and Breakthroughs, Crushing Fear and Distortion. Tonight, post game at Practice Mastery Monmouth County. Some thoughts. Just flew in from Los Angeles. Had an amazing, legendary mastermind experience out there. Had an incredible experience at UPW. Thank you, Tony Robbins. Had an amazing night at Practice Mastery Monmouth County today. But what's coming up for me is a lot of the conversations I have with folks, there still seems to be such a this dichotomy for people between the notion of like hype and like people asking for things and how does this all reconcile that some really intense conversations today with some folks about like who's a giver, who's good, who's right, who's bad, who should we do business with? And here's how to reconcile that question. So the question presented is how do I know whether or not I should do business with somebody? Here's the question, Here, here's my response to it. And I've made plenty of mistakes. I've had plenty of people who've taken, lied to me, deceived me, taken advantage of me. But here's how I reconcile the entire thing. I believe in people. I believe in pe giving people second chances. I believe in giving people opportunity to the extent though, right, to the extent that it can't create some devastation into your business and world. So for me, spending $10,000 on an opportunity at a marketing plan or launching something, for me, that's not an extraordinary amount of money. If it is for you, you wouldn't want to spend 10,000. You maybe want to spend $500 on trying something out. But I have gambled for my entire life and career from the time I had $100,000 in debt when I was 27 years old and quit my job to start my own law firm and spent money on Tony Robbins products and Jay Abraham products and uh, $10,000 a month, the guys that have land, been landmark trained to coach me. All the way through, I mean $10,000 when I was 29 years old spending on coaches, everybody thought I was completely and totally insane. When I went to coaching school, everybody thought I was completely insane. When I bought a Jay Abraham book, when I had no money for $500, people thought I was completely crazy insane. When I went to my first Tony Robbins event, UPW, I'm sorry, Competitive Edge program back in 1998, everybody thought I was crazy insane. So here's my point, here's my point. The point is to give yourself, take a deep breath, and to put things into massive action that you hear about and try them to build relationships, to merge ecosystems. And somewhere along the way, people are gonna upset you and disappoint you, but understand what's gonna happen. And also, that uh, this is my thing, I believe that people have innocent souls, like wonderful hearts, innocent souls, and they do bad things. And their bad things are cries for help. Totally cool if people have cries for help, as long as I don't expose myself or those people around me to any kind of major challenge, damage, or impact, right? So as we're accelerating our business, I've had way more relationships, way more not work out than have worked out in business. And I've had plenty of people around me say, see, I told you not to do that, right? I told you that that person would try to take advantage of you or harm you. You lost $10,000, you lost $20,000. And you know what my answer is? Yeah, you're the same people just or just like the same people who told me not to quit my job and start my law firm that helped me become financially free, that helped me have amazing things in my life. You're the same people that told me not to go to a Tony Robbins seminar or buy a book from Jay Abraham or hire those coaches from Landmark Forum or to become a certified coach to sell my first law firm, to build the fastest growing coaching business from my coaching school, to try the case in Arizona that I got the top 100 national jury verdict. So here's what I have to say. Fear, fear distorts. So these videos are about distortion, fear distorts. Fear does not create powerful outcomes. And I'm not saying to be dumb, and I'm not saying to waste your time, but if you're so worried about losing something versus what you're gonna gain, you're never gonna make the appropriate decisions and take risks to drive your business forward. So be smart, but keep an open heart and realize that you're gonna have more things not work than will work. You will have more things not happen the way you want than will happen. At the end of the day though, if you're implementing the formulas we talk about in these videos, you have massive acceleration, create incredible business breakthroughs, have all the things that you want in your life and your business, and by the way, it's fun. It's exciting. I'm sitting shooting this video at 10.45. This is the 10th video I've shot tonight. There's different people here who want to shoot videos. Maybe the 15th, I don't even know at this point. I am so passionate in love with my life right now, so thankful for, to God for what that actually is, because I've stopped hiding. I committed this year to rip it open, to go for it, right? To take it, everything I have, and put it out there for one year in 2019, and take every opportunity, say yes consistently. Thank you, Milo. Milo gave me a beautiful idea, doesn't even know it, and saying yes for people for a year. I'm trying to say yes for a year, and I'm gonna see where it all lands. Take that journey with me. Take that journey with me and see where everything lands for you in 2019. Hey, we're all just learning to see. I'm Sean Callagy. Crush fear and distortion. Have an amazing day.